Okay, friends, today's, uh, she, uh, today's story is a very different Maisa. It's not so much a Maisa, but a Yesoid Gobble in his kashos. And I'll share it with you as follows. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start with, the, with, the, with kind of the story and then uh, backtrack to the Abrengas. So the story is told by Rabbi Groner, all of a sudden. He says it, uh, it's the Fabian of Bayesian, which is the uh, Maledis Red Marash, Top Shield of 1950. He says very, very early. And you should know that the embassy that every every Hasid has to learn for Top Shingu, Top Shingu, out of the base, first five years. That's what the Rebbe really explains the Rebbe and discussions. There's no place in Hasidus where this is addressed so deeply. and just as an aside, huh? in the Sikhs, yeah, the Fabrengi mission. Uh, I mean, the Rebbe is kind of, quote unquote, able to do this. He's not speaking about himself. There's no Rebbe, there was no Rebbe like our Rebbe that saw the, the previous Rebbe as the Rebbe and he just simply a chassid on extension. And so therefore the Rebbe spoke about the Rebbe and completely uh, without, without any constraint of any, on any level. The Rebbe most spoke about what the Rebbe is. But the Rebbe speaks about it in great length because, I don't mean what they're causing quotations, that's neither because. But I'm saying it's just the reality. He's speaking about the field to get up. So, at that Fabrengen, as I'll read to you, so the Rebbe came out then with, he wanted it, and, and, and he did change the Musach of generations that Chassidim wrote the pan, and I'll give you the details soon. So, he gave two reasons why he wants to change it. So, Leibu Gona relates that when Yoel, Yoel Khan, was on Gizot Pishtar. So, when Yoel and I wrote up the Fabrekin, so I asked the Yoel, these are the early years, asked the Yoel to come with me, said Leibu Gona, into, into, into the Rebbe to give him the, the write-up, the Hanukkah. This was before the officially accepting the Nesiyah. This is Beisir, Tav Shem Yud. This is before Yitzvah. Yeah, yeah. The book, uh, label, I don't know. Yale was still a Bacha, for sure. And label as well. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't there yet. And this was the first Rishina. The first, the shima means the first uh, notes of a Fabrengen, hoping that Rebbe would uh, like edit it. It was 12 o'clock at night, he knocked on the door. The Rebbe opens up the door and says, Looks like they're married, it's a shay operation. I don't think they're married. Anyway, at any rate, to Bochum, whatever, at this hour, young men, what happened? So look like a night knock on the door. And they saw the Rebbe's uh, life was on that was working. So I said to the Rebbe, we have a, a, a we wrote up the last Fabrengen. Rebbe looked at it and said, where are the notes of the other Fabrengen mission? Like giving them a green light that they should do so. Just by the way, I want to tell you something you may have heard. And in parenthesis now, uh, Moshe Feller, Relates how he was became drawn to Lubavitch. Was he was misguided by uh, the Bula Krinsky, who was learning at University. And Bula Krinsky came, uh, went as a Bach to give a Shin Tanya, and that's how he, he was misguided. And he came to Fabrengia the first time, and he says what struck him was the, the Rebbe sitting with the microphone. He's used, he's gone to the Shin Rebbe's. He sit there and how he can have the unity thing that's a Bach and it's a Prof. A crash to hear, and it's all very, you know, mystical. And here's a microphone, and he's speaking. And so it dawned on him that Rebbe wants his message to be heard. He has something to say. Uh, he, he, heard, he heard it, he didn't hear it. So life will go on if he didn't hear this, this question or answer of this Tvatayla. No, no, this is a Fabrengen where there was a message for sitting in the world that wants to be heard. So Deb's kind of saying this, whether you're writing yourself where with the previous one. So he said, we'll do it. 
So Rebbe took took the uh, took took when he wrote up, and he read very very quickly. I saw it myself. When I was in Yeshivas. He holds the paper like this, and moves it like this. And he came to the part where I just told you that Rebbe's changing. He wants to change the age old. I should tell you what it is. Text of a pan. Pidge nefesh. See this also. You put into the. It's a Rishina. He says in Yiddish, they'll throw me out of New York. The Tabi's about to New York. I want to change something that Sidim did for years and years. He paused and smiled and said, Look, good, good, smart place. It's okay. Leave it in. And that was Rebbe's reaction. Now, what was it that the Rebbe said? What did he change? So I'll read it to you word for word. He said, with respect to the Nusach, the people like to Rebbe, if I could, it's expression, I would be a battle. I would do away with the Nusach that Chassidim wrote for generations. It goes like this. They write like this. Uh, top is Pidya Nefesh, Pan, then you write, I seek to arouse Great mercy, from the source of mercy and kindness. That's which we say, referring to the slichas, where we ask the angels to bring, uh, literally the ones who bring mercy, and we ask the, the, angel, the angels to bring our petition on high. The Tshuvas Mariv Zal, as explained in the Tshuvas Mariv. Now, frankly, I don't know, and in the court, let me just get the court straight. When you go on to, so let me get this clear. How did Chassidim write? I wish to arouse Rachel and Rabbin great mercy from the sources of mercy, similar to the idea of talking to the Malachim that we do in Slichas, and in fact, also the Megillah, as explained in the Tshuvas of Mariv. And then you write your, what you're asking, your name and what you're asking your mercy for. So, they want to change two things here. First of all, to write, similar to our addressing the Malachim, as explained in the Chubas Mariv. So let me give you some background. So first of all, I don't know who the Mariv is. I actually called uh, a little bit yesterday and I didn't Tremendous research, but one source he didn't know either. Looked up, he couldn't find exactly this children, even though there's a footnote here. What number it is, and we will find it. It seems like this because of the association with this shuva and an aksam soifa, which I'll read to you. The question is the malachim, how do we address the malachim? Is this not an intermediary? Intermediary. At the end of the slichus, and where's the slichus here? No. The end of the slichus, we say, Achnisu, Rachamim, Achnisu, someone get it? Ah? I don't know if I have a look if it's there. I don't know if it's there. It's a slichus of. Uh, it's in the slichus. Last page. Yeah, yeah, it's the very end. Yeah, uh, which is not here. No, it's not. It's, it's in the same it's in, it's in Huh? It's the regular slip. Yeah, the regular slip was book, yeah. Got, at any rate, no, no, it's not here. It's only in Slippers and Sim Gedalia, and also in Yom Kippur, even stronger. Someone can find it, uh, I should have brought it prepared and uh, max it. Any rate, so the big question is this is an intermediary. Now, uh, so much so that some have said that can share this mitzvah satvila, Perek Zion writes like this that the author of the Sefer Kobin Nisano 
that we should say in the healer. End of the healer. We say, divine attribute of mercy, his galgali, and I'll devolve yourself on me, literally roll, and before your master, our supplications present. So, like we're, we're addressing the, the middle of the Rachman, like independent of Hashem. And he says it's also, says the, the Kabbalah and the Salaf. And says the Tzemach Tzedek, and his words are, are correct. And according to the Fianias deity, the Nusra should be changed, and there should be addressing of a Rachman, master of the Abish, to Galgal Olein, the Midas Rachman, to evolve upon us, grant us your Midas Rachman, not talking to the Midas itself, slash Malach. That's the middle, and it's lichus. It's the malach. It's the same year. So this mahabi elariv. His answer is: It seems the context that we're just not not that they are always ask him to be shluchim. The channel by which the abish does rachamim should descend and ascend. That seems to be the content of this of this question and a question that was addressed to the mahabiv and his answer. So how do I see them going to the to, to the oil? So a rebbe, a rebbe, living a rebbe, oil, and you're giving him a pidgin nefesh. Same question. A a uh, intermediary, his own intermediary, he chose a correct connection, direct connection to Hashem. The same answer for the malachim. He's a shliya, not that he's the the blesser, etc. But a channel by which Abish's bracha should descend, and the channel by which our bakasha should descend. So Chassidim would write, when you, when you give your pan, so here's the Lashon again. As explained in the truth of the Marib with respect to the Malach. The Rebbe says, delete that. He says, what place does it have to give this pilpul explanation? Here you're asking, you're, you're entreating the Ebrus of Rachmanus, and you're giving a whole, a whole heter, pilpul, why it's permissible, as explained in this source, as if to say, if there is the heter, it's the heter, it's the foundation. It makes no sense in your request, in brackets, by the way, I can do this because it just doesn't fit with the whole state of the kosher rachman. Clear? That's one reason, that's one thing. So you delete, and we don't do this anymore. We don't. And the second thing he said to, to we follow this. And the second thing he said, if I would, I would delete, is we say, or they used to say, on the lawyer, on the lawyer, but please arouse great mercy. From the source of Rahman and Hassan. You have to give the Rebbe addresses. He knows himself where, where and how to imam Sheikh the Rahman, the great the mercy of Hashem. Maybe he wants to go higher than the level of Makarach and Bachasad. So, what are you giving him an address? Then there are answers I'm reading over here. Oh, it's already about to stop here. I'll continue tomorrow. Okay, we'll stop here. A beautiful little story that ever adds. And then I want to read to you something from Fabrengia of Tavshi and Aleph, the Cholamite Sukkis, similar in with the Rebbe dresses head on the question of the Rebbe being an intermediary. And there's no intermediary. So what's the whole meaning of the scotches? And what's the whole meaning of going through that? Beautiful words based on Hassam Seifer, who was a renowned and a universally accepted uh, uh, place. I've shared this with you many times, the Teufen, but in the words of the Sikha, it's very, very important and beautiful to, uh, to revisit. Okay, friends, so God willing, we'll continue tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What is it ever? Yeah. I guess I have to add. It's important to add that despite the Tzemach Tzedek's protest here in Derech Matrisecha, Rebbe brings in his orders to Slichus because that Nusach stays there and the Nusach of Yom Kippur stays despite the Tzemach Tzedek's saying it, it should be deleted because later in our Torah, which he wrote after that, Derech Matrisecha wrote when he was twelve years old. Later in our Torah, he Justifies it, it seems like the Ma'abit is the Nyan of a Shliya. The Ma'am said, Ma'arif, Mem Heir Reish Yud Beis. And so that's why it stays in the Nusach. There's a whole lengthy order on the Nusach on this point 
in Slichus, pointing to the final statement of the Tzemach Tzedek and Eratay, to be continued by Hashem tomorrow. Yeshua, Rabbi, God bless you. Wonderful. Okay. Day. Thank you all.